Hey YouTube, it's Grace. A lot of my subscribers on here either found me or know about me because of my Minecraft themed art content on TikTok, but I'm to the point where I feel like that's the only thing that people really know or associate with me. So I wanted to make a little introduction video to talk about, you know, who I am as a person and also answer some commonly asked questions that I get. Because I've been posting content online for quite a while now and I've never really made anything like this before, so I figured why not? <laughs> so hi, I'm Grace, I'm 21, I'm from the US and I'm currently a junior in college studying creative arts and entrepreneurship. Some of my other hobbies include photography and theater, and I have also done color guard and marching band through all of high school and college so far. I also have two cats, though I don't really show them in any of my videos. <laughs> I've been making art since I was old enough to pick up a pencil, but I didn't really start painting until March of 2020 when the whole world kind of shut down. <laughs> I had this big urge to start on a real big project, and I eventually settled on doing huge Minecraft paintings. I started with the skull underwater painting, and I made that in my closet, um, but it wasn't until my second huge Minecraft painting until things like really took off for me, and that painting was an almost life-size nether portal which is currently in my basement. Growing up my parents never really wanted me to show my face on the internet so when that video blew up I was kind of nervous to tell them about it but they've actually been very supportive of this whole thing so I am very grateful for that. At first I just started posting my art because I needed like a creative outlet and really just wanted to share it with people <laughs> but since then I've just gotten so many messages of people thanking me for inspiring them to get back into making art again and that just makes me so happy to hear. <laughs> just thinking about the way that my videos and my art have impacted other people is just so cool to me. I'm so incredibly fortunate that art and social media have sort of turned into a job for me because I just love doing this stuff so much. Though I am still in school so I'm not able to devote as much time to it as I want to, but my goal is to make it so that I can actually support myself financially through my art and through my videos by the time that I graduate. Because I don't want to live at home forever and I also don't want to be stuck behind a desk in a cubicle for the next 40 years, so... But that's enough about me, so next I'm going to be answering some common questions that I get. First is can I commission you and the answer to that is absolutely yes, though unfortunately my commissions are closed most of the time because usually within an hour of opening them I have already just swamped with messages of people being like, I want to commission you, so they get backed up so fast. Second is do I ship international, and the answer to that is also yes, though international shipping on both Etsy and for any painting commission will cost you quite a bit more, because um, unfortunately I cannot control the shipping prices. And also for international painting orders, there are some things that are limited, I can't ship as large of paintings just because the cost of shipping is ridiculous. Third is how do I have the patience to paint for this long? So I don't do an entire painting in one day, that would be absolutely absurd. <laughs> I divide the painting time up into several days or even a couple weeks depending on the painting and my schedule because that just tends to make things a lot less overwhelming. <laughs> but also I just enjoy painting and art in general is kind of a de-stressor for me and I am in college so I, I do need some form of stress relief. <laughs> Realistically though I do just listen to a whole bunch of Spotify while I paint. I feel like a good music playlist makes time go so much faster. Four is where do I find my references? So most of the Minecraft references that I use for Minecraft themed paintings are just ones that I find on Google Images or sometimes if I can't find a good Minecraft reference, I'll actually go in the game and just take a screenshot. For my original paintings though, usually I'll use a photo that I've actually taken, because as I mentioned, I like photography. <laughs> but sometimes I'll also find an image online that I like and use that as inspiration and then just kind of put my own twist on it. Five is how do I find the right colors to use? Now I've gotten this question a lot and honestly it's really hard for me to answer because I kind of just eyeball it. Over the past two or three years I've gotten a lot of practice doing color matching and I've so I just gain the ability to look at a color and be able to roughly match it on paper or canvas or whatever. <laughs> but to visualize it better, um, I sort of just find a base color and then adjust it based on how bright it is, how warm it is, and then like the green pink Thing. Like one of those photo editor app things, th this is how my brain works. But also the colors don't need to be perfect by any means, they just need to be pretty close and also make sense relative to each other. Number six is can I make tutorials on how I make Minecraft paintings? And I already did, so. <laughs> I currently have one in-depth tutorial for an actual Minecraft painting and one in-depth tutorial for a Minecraft door painting. I have a whole bunch of other videos of how I made Minecraft paintings, but they don't really go in nearly as much detail, they kind of just show the process and move on. So if you're just starting out, I would recommend one of the more in-depth videos, but if you're just curious to see how I make each painting, then check those out. <laughs> so those are some of the most common questions that I get. Um, if I forgot anything or if you guys have any other questions, leave them down below in the comments and I will definitely answer them. Also, I just want to say if there are any other artists or content creators who are watching this video who want to do a collab or an art trade or anything like that, I'm totally open to those. I love doing them, so hit me up. <laughs> it may take me a while to actually have the time to make you a piece or anything. Um, just because my commissions are so backed up, but I love doing art trades. They're so much fun. I love doing collabs. 
yeah. But I think that covers everything that I wanted to talk about in this video. If you would like to see any of my art or commission me, this is my Instagram, DM me on there, um, and we can work something out. But yeah, thank you for watching, and I will hopefully see you in my next one. Bye!